This is Friday Night Football on KLST, brought to you by Randall Motors. Hello there and welcome into Friday Night Football. I'm Ryan Campo. We'll hear from Sabrina Hoover just a little bit from a very special night over at San Angelo Stadium. At the end of this evening, we'll be through five weeks of the Texas high school football season. The Lakeview Chiefs out here proving doubters wrong so far in 2022. Three wins already. The total they had all of last season took them just four weeks this year to get three. The Chiefs looking for win number four, hosting Leveland tonight in the Lubbock area. We'll start things off here in the first quarter. Lakeview trying to go for a short gain. That'll go nowhere. Swallowed up by the Lobos defense. Chiefs trying to get some offense going early on. Unable to get anything going tonight. Lobos stopped them short as well. We'll head to a little later on in the game. Connor Alexander, a deep pass. Jaden Flores for a big catch for Loveland. That'll keep the drive going. A little later on, the pitch goes out to Le uh, Ladrian Jordan for the Lobos. That'll go for a deep gain. The Chiefs get shut out tonight. They fall 17-0 to Leveland. The Chiefs are back in action next week against Midland Greenwood. A 2A, 3A crossover tonight. Cristobal traveling to Brady this evening. We start things off in the first quarter. First drive for the Cougs. Catcher Joyner in from a few yards out. That's the first score of the game. 7 0 Cristobal. A little later on, a big play here by the Bulldogs. J.D. Abara finds a hole, gets through the line, and he's off to the races. Abara with a big gainer here for Brady. Just getting pushed outside before the goal line. However, Hayden Baronet, the quarterback, takes it himself. This will be tied up at seven apiece. A turnover forced by Cristobal results in another touchdown. It's Joyner once again. This from 45 yards out. Cristobal will take a 13-7 lead after that. However, at last look, Brady pulling away from this one tonight against Cristobal. 47-21 in the fourth quarter. Central picked up a big win last week against Belton, thanks in large part to the run game led by quarterback Tyler Hill, who ran wild last Friday night for three touchdowns. Picked up another through the air to get the Cats back to 500 this week. A tough test in Abilene Wiley, who took the number one team in 4A Division I, Stephenville, last week to the brink. Homecoming tonight for Central taking on Abilene Wiley for the first time. We'll start things off in the first quarter. The Bulldogs strike first. Landry Carlton gets the handoff, bounces off a tackler, gets to the outside. He's in for six. Just like that, 7 nothing Wiley. The Cats, though, don't take long to respond. Jaden Gibson finds a hole, goes right up the middle, and just like that, we are tied at seven apiece. Early in the second, Wiley gets the lead again. Malachi Daniels goes and touched 14-7 Bulldogs. Buckle up, folks. This is a a long one from over. Back and forth continues. Central's Tyler Hill. Great ball fake. He's in for six. Tied at 14 now. Late in the second, we're tied at 21. Tyler Hill doing damage on the ground once again. His third rushing touchdown just in the first half, just like last week. Central would take a 35-28 lead into half. Central would win on a last second. Hail Mary. 63-61 the victory. Here's Sabrina Hoover with a recap of this wild one. Yeah, Ryan, what a spectacular homecoming day night this was for the Central Bobcats. And what a spectacular performance for quarterback Tyler Hill, who had four rushing and three throwing touchdowns for the Central Bobcats as they led 35-28 to going into halftime. This game came down to the wire as the Bobcats were down by five with three minutes left to go in the game. Quarterback Tyler Hill kept the ball himself to score for the Bobcats to put them on the board 56-54 to with only less than two minutes to go. Tyler, the Bulldogs got the ball with less than two minutes to go left in the game in which they ended up scoring to lead with 19 seconds left. The Central Bobcats do not quit. Quarterback Tyler Hill connects with Benjamin Imler who won this game 63 to 61. Central Bobcats overall record now goes to three and two and they will look to prepare for their next challenge as they will have a bye week this upcoming week. Reporting from San Angelo Stadium, I'm Sabrina Hoover. Back to you, Ryan. This live shot brought to you by Advanced Custom Windows. 
All right, thanks for that, Sabrina. A wild one for the Bobcats. As she mentioned, they're on a bye week next week before they start district play. To some other games across the Contra Valley this evening, a handful of Class 3A versus 2A games going on tonight, including TLCA and Stanton meeting for the third time overall, the third straight season as well. The Eagles looking for their most win since 2017 and their first ever victory against Stanton. However, the Eagles fall short tonight, 35 14. Over to the Puncher Dome. The Mason Punchers welcome Ballinger to town this evening. These two meeting for the first time since 2017. 17, the Bearcats holding a slim advantage in this series, but tonight belongs to the Punchers. They get win number four on the season in big fashion, 55 to zero. We got ourselves a good old bird battle going on in Junction this evening as well. Grape Creek and Junction, both these teams looking for their first win of the 2022 season. I promise the Eagles will win. And it's the Junction Eagles who pick up their first win of the 2022 season, 21 to 6 tonight. And we come into week five of the season. Three unbeatens left here in the Contra Valley. One of those being the Miles Bulldogs, who look to start 5-0 and for the first time since 2019. Miles looking to go 5-0, and meeting Ozona for the first time tonight. We'll start things off early the first quarter after already getting them down there with his legs. Haven Book does it again, takes the long snap, looks for an open hole, finds a lane to the outside. Book stutter steps and puts a defender into a blunder. That rhymed. Ha! Would take the lead 7 6 after that. After forcing a turnover, Haven takes the snap, pumps left, tosses it right. Carson Ellison lets him do the rest. That's what we like to call get mossed for their defender, and he would score. That'll even up the game at that point. Miles up 14 6. Later on in the second quarter, Bulldogs get it done on the ground as well. Haven hands it off to Devin Medina. He runs it in untouched. The Bulldogs will cut the Lions' lead to one with two minutes left to go in that. However, it's Ozona who stuns Miles tonight, 41-26 in that one. Sonora hosting Harper. These two meeting for the first time since 2015. Broncos get off and running early. Check out the individual effort by Jaime Butron. Gets to the outside, runs over that man, and he's off to the races. He's got reservations for six, and it's 7 nothing Broncos. A little later, it's Butron once again using his legs to do the work. It makes a couple men miss. He's in for six, 14 nothing Sonora. Broncos go to the air now. It's Butron. He'll just heave it up. Eli Prunita with the great over-the-shoulder catch for the touchdown. All Broncos in this one. They get the win. 61-8 to the final. Coming up on Friday Night Football, District Play begins in District 5-2A Division II. Seven schools, three of those in the Contra Valley, one of which, including the Sterling City Eagles hosting the Ira and Braves. Our Game of the Week highlights after the break. It's your last chance to shop our once-a-year Labor Day sale with huge savings on everything. Like this reclining sofa and love seat for just $17.76. Plus, for a limited time, get the recliner for free. Yes, all three pieces for just $17.76. Best of all, it's handcrafted right here in Texas. Finally, take up to 60 months interest-free financing. Home Zone, Texas born, family owned. Fat Cats Gaming is your friendly local game store with a great selection of card, board, and tabletop games for your entertainment. Fat Cats Gaming is about community and strives to make you feel welcome the moment you step into our doors. Each week, we hold events that provide an experience for all generations of gamers. We have plenty of space and even offer reserved space for private events or parties. And don't play on an empty stomach. Grab a bite at the Spit and Kitten. Visit Fat Cats Gaming today, a community with fun for everyone. That's a pretty tight spot. Watch this. Your Buick parks itself. That's so you. Of course you know where we're going. That's so you. Kinda got a six cents. And a head up display. <laughs> They're here. You brought all these players in your Buick? Yep. So you. It is. At the heart of every Buick SUV is you. Pay no interest on Buick SUV models. Buick, ranked number one brand in the industry for new vehicle quality. Visit Mitchell Buick GMC in San Angelo.
Five means the beginning of district play for three school Contra Valley schools. District 5, 2A Division 2, the largest district with teams in our area getting district play under this evening. But before we get to the highlights, let's take a look at District 5, 2A Division 2 and how the teams stack up going into week one of district play. We'll start at the top. The Wink Bulldogs, 4 0. They're number five in the state for a reason. Their average margin through their first four games, 34 points. Not bad. Sitting in second, the McCamey Bulldog, or Badgers, excuse me, who started off 3 0 but fell last. Last week to Forsan. After that, three teams at two and two: Iran and new to 11-man football this season, Sterling City and Water Valley. And then rounding out the district, we find El Dorado and Midland TLCA. It's well known the big talk throughout the preseason in the Contra Valley was Water Valley and Sterling City who were making the jump from powerhouses and six-man to 11-man. However, av however, after the first four weeks of play, both handling their own against their opponents, our KLSD Game of the Week, Sterling City hosting their first 11-man district game for the first time since 2007. Our Sabrina Hoover has a preview. If we get everything done and execute everything right, that there's not really many people that can make this transition and get their first district win coming into 11-man. The Sterling City Eagles will be playing in their first district game in 11-man for the first time in 15 years. The switch has been a change for the community, but the Eagles are confident that they are enjoying this new team. Our home games have been packed. I think people are really enjoying the move to 11-man, and then hopefully they'll show up uh, Friday night and cheer us on for a first district victory. The transition from six man to 11 man is not easy to grasp, but the Eagles are finding that each week they are improving in new ways. It's definitely interesting. The game is way longer than uh, six man. We think it's, it's a whole new quarter to us since uh, in six man it's 10 minutes long, and now that uh, the 12 minute quarters are just it's way different. Our linemen they've been struggling a little bit being able to last through the game, and even us, less backs. But uh, as we go, I think we're getting more into shape and we're uh, starting to really. How, how to like go through the game fine. The Ira and Braves will be traveling to Eagles Stadium Friday night. These two teams are coming off a loss in week four and are hoping to build some success going into a new week. Going into the game, the atmosphere of the home home team advantage would be better for us. But also I think just if we execute our plays just as well as we did in the scrimmage, it should everything should turn out how we'd like. With the Eagles struggling to keep athletes healthy so far throughout the season, Coach Cisco is confident that this week they're more than ready for this challenge. And also getting healthy. I think this will be the healthiest we've been since the first scrimmage. So that's going to help hopefully this week and uh, get us started at District Council on the right foot. Right, so for the first time since 1985 and just the third time overall, Sterling City and Ira Ann playing one another on the gridiron. Who would start district play 1-0 this season? The Eagles hosting the Braves tonight. The Eagles looking to score first. Ty Turner scrambling around trying to find his man. He'll connect with Tristan Himes for an Eagles touchdown. That's 7-0 Sterling City. The second quarter now, Ty Turner hands it off to none other than Johnny Monreal. No one catching that man. He's in for another Eagles touchdown. It's 14-0. Eagles looking to build on their lead. Ty Turner hands this one off. Kaz John Johnson, no one in sight. Another Eagles touchdown. 21 nothing Sterling City at that point. They shut out Iran. 41 nothing the final. Water Valley hosting fifth ranked Wink out of 2A Division II this evening in district play. Wink on the board first. Cannon Gibson lets it five, finds Jordan Talley in the back of the end zone. A little later on, it's Gibson once again for the two-point conversion. He'll run it in himself. Wink up 14-0. Here goes Wink again. Kaysen Wilson getting the pitch. He'll run it in for another Wink touchdown. A little later on now, Brian Wilcox, the Wink Wildcat, back up the middle, putting Wink 20 nothing in a comfortable lead. Water Valley, though, getting on the board late. David Valerion breaks through some defenders, runs it down the field to put Water Valley on the board. However, tonight, this one belonged to Wink in big fashion. Wink goes on to win this over Water Valley. So in case you missed it on Wednesday, it was announced that TLCA Midland withdrew from their district UIL football games the rest of the season, meaning their games are canceled. El Dorado picking up a forfeit victory. They'll move to 1-0 in conference, or excuse me, district play. So let's take a look at the district standings after week one of play. We'll have Wink, El Dorado, Sterling City, all 1-0. McCamey off this week. They'll sit idle, 0-1. And, and rounding out the district standings, Water Valley and Midland TLCA. Let's take a look at next week's games now. Our first Contra Valley District 2022 game of the season, Water Valley and El Dorado. The Wildcats looking to bounce back while El Dorado officially put their first district game next week. Sterling City traveling to McCamey. Sterling City looking to go 2-0. And 
Ira Ann next week would have played Midland TLC or TLCA Midland, excuse me. They'll get the victory over uh, TLCA Midland in a forfeit. Coming up on Friday Night Football, we'll shrink the field. Go to 11 man to 6 man, including Eden and Bront meeting for the first time since 2019. That and more after the break. Service Master by Texas Best, San Angelo's locally owned 24 hour emergency water extraction and fire restoration company. We've been serving the Contro Valley for over 25 years. We have professionally trained technicians and work with all insurance companies. Most important, we take care of our customers. When disaster strikes, give us a call and we will walk you through the process. No matter the size of the project, Service Master by Texas Best has you covered. Family owned and operated, we are Service Master by Texas Best. Jason Petty and international singing star Gail Bliss take you back in time on a musical journey through the magnificent history of country music in classic Nashville Live. The legendary songs all come back to life in this fast-paced, humorous, and moving tale of music that became the soundtrack to several generations. George Jones, Hank Williams, Patsy Cline, Loretta Lynn, and many more are featured in this wonderfully acclaimed production. Classic Nashville Live, Sunday, October 9th at the Murphy Performance Hall. Battery power made by steel. Only at your local steel dealer. And Bront began playing way back in 1934, and tonight they're meeting for the 41st time on the gridiron. First time, though, since 2019. Eden won that matchup back in 2019. Who will come out victorious tonight? Bulldogs taking on the Bront Longhorns early in the first. Joel Pena under center takes a snap, tosses it to his running back, makes a couple man miss, picks up a block, and he's into the end zone. 7 0 Longhorns early on. Let's go to the second. Jet Jackson, what a name there. Takes the handoff, puts it in, puts on the Jets there. He's up. That'll make it 12-7. Bront, after a big stop on the other side of the ball, Pena pitches it to Tegan again, finds a lane, cuts back. He's in for six. Bront goes on to win this one tonight. Big 52-25, the final. Let's go to some Chiron graphics of games going on this evening and tomorrow. Robert Lee, 5-0 and oh, for the first time since 2018. They get the win 50 to nothing. Blackwell and Brooke Smith in action tomorrow. Two schools looking to get number one on the season. Very best in Panther Creek. They are also playing tomorrow. And Menard, unfortunately, unable to play this week. Austin Valor Charter having to forfeit their matchup with the Yellow Jackets. Menard now at 3-2 and two on the season. Coming up on Friday Night Football, we'll take a look at our Red Hot headlines from Week 5. Plus, look ahead to some of our Spotlight games for Week 6. Stay with us. I thought all Goodwill did was just receive donations and then turn around and sell them. Uh, but honestly, it wasn't until I became the career specialist here at uh, Goodwill West Texas that I learned about all of the things that the Career Center does. You know, Goodwill's mission is to provide employment for people with barriers. Goodwill helps a lot of people out, and they help me out finding a job. Knowing that it is 100% possible to overcome those barriers just gives me the utmost confidence to let other people know they can do it too. Melt your stress away at Mansion Nails and Spa. Treat yourself to a wide variety of beauty and spa treatments, including manicures, pedicures, waxing, facials, massages, microblading, eyelash extensions and eyebrow tinting, and even manis and petties for your little princess, all while enjoying your favorite complimentary beverage. We always use high-quality, well-sanitized products to ensure a perfect spa experience for you. We also offer a 10% discount for military and students. So come to Mansion Nails and Spa, 5770 Sherwood Way, Suite 300. Before we take a look at some of our games for next week, week six of the Texas high school football season, let's take a look at some headlines from this evening's games. Central 
I can't say it anymore. What a win on homecoming there. Thriller 63-61 tonight. They'll start district play in two weeks. Robert Lee moving to 5-0 and for the first time since 2019. And Sterling City getting their first 11-man district win in 15 years. Week 6 next week, only 10 games in the Contra Valley on top of Water Valley and El Dorado. We'll have these games for you as well. Mason and Wall, that's a good one out of 3A. Lakeview traveling or back at home against Midland Greenwood. Lakey and Erin County, the Hornets back in action next week. And the Coke, or excuse me, Cook, Coke County Rivalry. Bront Robert Lee, 107th edition of the Coke County Rivalry. That'll do it for us on KLST's Friday Night Football. In case you missed anything, head over to our website, ContraValleyHomePage.com. Have a good night. Friday Night Football on KLST, brought to you by Randall Motors.